One of the core functions of the partnership is to develop global knowledge products that can help spread learning, good practices, and substantially speed up NDC implementation and NDC progress. Share those positive and negative knowledges will help countries speed up the implementation of their actions, will help countries develop new strategies. And we will do this uh, by building knowledge platforms so that we can make resources more available, by sharing processes and progress and best practices so that we can uh, inspire global action, and by facilitating candid dialogues between members. And this is all based on what is learned at the country level. So this is the connection between the two pillars. pillars. All the positive experiences and challenges that countries identify are shared at the global level. So that those best practices can be shared, so that solutions to those cha challenges ha can be shared, so that we can increase ambition as fast as possible. We are currently promoting knowledge exchange with three navigators. You can see them here. The first one is the NDC Funding and Initiatives Navigator, where we have more than 520 funding initiatives that can be browsed to identify the most adequate funding sources for implementing climate action. The second one is the Toolbox Navigator, which is uh, available so that people can find tools that will support climate action from the design of NDCs all the way to the on-the-ground implementation of these indices. And finally, we have Climate Watch that will be launched this month, and it's a database of all NDCs and all climate statistics from all countries that can help countries identify uh, what other countries are doing, what other countries have similar issues, similar challenges as them. Even though this is a, a, a very new partnership, very recent initiative, we have good stories to tell about the type of support that can be provided. These are some examples. In Honduras, we have a whole of government approach that has been led by the, part, by the president where, that we are helping uh, institutionalize. And multi-stakeholder coordination for priority sectors, mainly agriculture and transport, is the priority for Costa Rica. And we're supporting working groups on these two topics with all stakeholders on the table. In Colombia, uh, the country is developing sectoral climate plans, uh, bringing to the table all relevant stakeholders with the support of the NDC partnership. Connecting investment uh, needs with available uh, support is a priority for Mali. In Marshall Islands, uh, the country is developing a long-term strategy for climate, and it's working on incorporating the development of NDCs and the implementation of NDCs in this exercise. In Uganda, the government has moved forward in the planning of their climate actions. And now they're working on budgeting those actions. And in Pakistan, uh, the, main, the main focus is on subnational actions. Though these subnational entities will be the responsible for most of the implementations, and we're supporting them in that. And finally, in Fiji, Fiji is thinking of a new NDC, on increasing ambition, on looking at how to enhance their current NDCs so that they can become an example throughout the world. Finally, we're convinced that Namibia could become proof of concept for sustainable development, not only for Africa, but around the world. Namibia has done a great work in producing a very ambitious NDC and has determined its total cost, which is uh, around $33 billion. It has also determined that it has the capacity to take care of this uh, uh, take care of 11% of these commitments and has identified the need for support from the international community, from the private sector, from all relevant actors that will cover 89% of this uh, NDC. And that's why they reached us to us and became members in February of this year. Because we can provide, we can facilitate the access to that support. Very importantly, Namibia has focused on adaptation, on how to reduce its vulnerability, how to get to reliable energy, how to get to food security, how to get uh, to water sustainability. And they have identified a way to move forward, which is by aligning climate action with national development planning processes through Vision 2030, 
through the national, fifth national plan and through the Harambe Prosperity Plan. So today we stand ready as a global partnership to work with Namibia on defining the best way to facilitate the achievement of its climate and development goals. So I thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, I hope that we can have a chance to continue discussing how we can support Namibia in its uh, very ambitious efforts. Thank you very much.